shortcake, shortcake design that is just very um, kind of more simple for my 3D stuff, a style that I used to do a lot of where I did what I consider to be flat 3D, where it doesn't stick up off the nail, there's nothing easily breakable or sharp or sticking out that would catch on clothing, but very wearable. So this is a technique that, like I said, I used to do a lot of. I've kind of steered away from it and gone really crazy recently, but I do want to get back into things that are a little more wearable. So I hope you guys like this design as much as I do, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So we're going to begin with an overlay of a pale green acrylic, either like a pale green or a shimmery white or just something very simple in the background would be ideal for this particular design. I wouldn't go straight white or like a nude color because there's both a nude cover color for her face and then white in her dress. So I'd do something a little bit different than those, but then encapsulate that now with a layer of clear acrylic, whatever color you chose for the background, just to make sure that it is nice and strong and then file the shape file the nail into shape with your e-file so that it is all smooth and even and all of that great stuff. I love using a barrel bit for filing that little last bit, that finished filing, because I think it gives the smoothest lines with an e-file. But now we're going to begin sculpting our strawberry shortcake. So I'm going to take a nude color that has some pretty good opacity so that you don't have to worry about the green showing through from underneath and we're going to just very slowly kind of work in the shape of her face. And strawberry shortcake in general she has a very large head compared to her body size. So when you're sculpting her, keep that in mind that she's got this, you know, like a bobblehead proportions, really big head. She's got a very large hat on and then her body is significantly smaller. So after we have her face done and her little bit of her neck, we're going to be adding just the bodice of her dress with white, which is why I said don't do a white background because then the bodice of the dress will not really show. And even against this really light green background, the dress the, dust, uh, the bodice of the dress doesn't show as much as it you know it would if it was a darker color but I just really like that minty green because she's got some green on her hat and green on her dress and I thought it went together very well so we've got that little bit of the bodice of her dress and then we're going to do um, her skirt with a pink so there's a couple different shades of pink that come into this design there's this one here that we're using for her skirt but then there's also like a ruddy pink or a berry pink that is used for her hair. So when you're picking out your colors, try to keep in mind that you don't want the color of her skirt to be too dark. You want it to have a little bit of like a medium tone to it so that it has some nice contrast against both the shirt and her hair color when we get to that point. I'm going to be adding some puffy sleeves for her for her uh, shirt and then we're going to go through with that darker pink berry red color whatever you want to call it for her hair and that particular red color is one that if it's layered up thick it almost looks really dark burgundy and if you sculpt it in really thin layers it looks hot pink so it's just a really fun color to work with because you have kind of some uh, you know some little variances that you can do with it as you could see when I brushed it out it changes to like a really vibrant hot pink but in this particular thickness it does look a little bit darker and more of like that berry red color and I will put anything that I use that's from Double Dip, which both of these pinks are, I will put their color names in the description box below. So if you want to know exactly which colors I'm using, then you can check for that. The darker red color is called Burnt Henna. I'm really quite certain that that darker berry red color is the color Burnt Henna. And so we're just going to keep filling in her hair with that, being very careful not to overlap onto her face too much if you can help it, or onto her shirt or skirt if it, her hair does go down that far for you, because anything that you overlap, it will have the potential to stain. It's not too bad. It's not as bad as like a regular just Christmas red. But as you can see, just a little bit on her face, I do have a little hint of some color bleeding, but it's nothing, nothing that can't be worked around add a little bit of hair that goes over her face. We have that one curl on the side of her face and then some more that are almost like bangs on the top of her forehead. And anytime you're doing these really skinny little bits of acrylic like those hair bits, you wanna make sure that the acrylic that you're using is a little bit more on the wet side than you would normally use it. That way you don't have to worry about it being too dry where it'll kind of have a cracky powdery texture to it. We want a really smooth texture acrylic for doing anything thin like that. Going back to her skirt color, you're going to be adding the strawberry shaped hat on top of her head and then you're going to take a brighter green and you're going to be adding a little bit of a strawberry stem on top of that strawberry shaped hat and then you're also going to need to add the bill of her hat. Before you get quite to that bill though, add a little bit of a brim with some more white acrylic. This is another circumstance where you want your acrylic to be very much so on the thin side versus a very thick powdery texture. And anytime you're working and you're doing stuff with 3D, it's a good thing to have a pretty good control over the texture of your acrylic whether you want it to be a little drier if you're trying to build something up or if you want it to be very wet because you're trying to get thin little delicate lines so something to practice when 
our practice with with that is doing a sculpted reverse French tip and I have a whole class on doing um, different acrylic French tips and acrylic basics that kind of goes over that a little bit more in depth and if you missed that class I will put a link to it in the description box below I refer people to that all the time because it really doing a reverse sculpted French tip is like the epitome of getting acrylic textures down because there are use every single one and they all have to play together very nicely to get that final look to be flawless so if you are interested like I said I'll put a link to that in the description box below otherwise if you do want to sign up for my future live classes you can send me an email to hot pink zebra polish at hotmail.com to get added to the email list and then you'll get all the details to these classes in advance so that's something that I would definitely recommend if you are new to the business and you want to see all of my little secrets that I hold away until those classes when it all comes out but now back to our design after you have the brim of her hat sculpted and that green that I used to do the brim you want to be a little drier because we were picking it up and getting a little bit of height on it then you're going to go through and do her arms with that same color that you used for her face and her hand so she's got the one hand that she's got up because it's waving the other hand is kind of just goes off the nail because it's kind of out to the side where we don't have the width to see it but now after all of that's done we can go through and add some finer details with acrylic paint now the reason to use acrylic paint versus gel polish or gel paint is that it'll just apply very much or it'll apply very smoothly on top of that roughly sculpted acrylic so acrylic that's just been sculpted has a an almost infeelable granular texture it's there but you can't really feel it unless you are trying to use gel products on top of it and it doesn't like gel products and it really likes acrylic paint so if you have the opportunity and you have the products in your collection go with acrylic paint instead of gel paint for any time that you're painting on top of acrylic that hasn't been buffed and smoothed so now after we've got that we're going to be adding just a few little highlights in her hair some details on her on her outfit on her hat you're going to take some red paint and add some little strawberry texture to her hat and then some polka dots to her skirt they kind of give it that almost strawberry like texture and then take some kind of really dark red brown and add some more little details to those strawberry textures on her hat and the one on her shirt you could go straight in with a regular black if you wanted to i personally liked the very dark red instead it just seemed a little less a little less drastic on those details finish off her shirt with a little bit of an argyle style pattern do some outlines on everything as you can see I'm mixing colors as I go I wanted a green that's just darker than the green that I sculpted with same thing with the red I don't want like a really dark red I want everything to be a little more subtle for my for my outlines instead of just doing everything with black it gives it just a, a more friendly appearance when you're sculpting something like a villain you want these sharp black lines that are very intense and very dramatic when you're sculpting a happy character like a strawberry shortcake then you want things to just be a little bit less less dramatic a little softer and so using a similar color to do the outlines that's just slightly darker helps give it that appearance i'm going to brighten up that little uh, band of white that's on her hat add some white highlights to her outfit and then whenever you're doing a character my personal recommendation when you're doing facial features is to do them with brown first and then go in with black so whenever I do the little details I'm going to start out with a brown paint the one that I'm using right now is actually darker than what I typically use so use a color that is barely darker than the skin tone so if you're doing you know a character that like Snow White who has very fair features or very fair skin then you might want to use a tan color to do these first outlines but if you're using or if you got a you know strawberry shortcake who I'd say has a medium skin tone at least the way I sculpted her she's a little bit I don't know like fair medium then you might want to go with a medium brown so just go a little darker because then if you do happen to make a little mistake it doesn't show hardly at all you never see it in the end it just kind of disappears and blends in with the background and then you can go through like I am now and intensify any of the lines you'd like to keep and has anybody been to at Disney they have the little sketching class I know that they do this in California at at um, the Disney California but I don't know if they do it in Florida at all or other Disney parks around the world but they have a, a sketching class and I always would go to it whenever I was at I was at Disney and they would show you how to sketch you know Mickey or Donald or Mushu once I think I did and you never had any eraser on your pencil because any lines you didn't want you just left in the background and you didn't intensify same concept with this you just 
don't worry about the ones that you don't need and you just intensify the ones that you'd like to keep. So once you're done with all of that great painting, you can apply a layer of gel sealer over the background, cure that and matte tap coat over Miss Strawberry Shortcake and this nail is done. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. It's so pink and springy and here is a Melody Minutes. <laughs> Are you going to do it again? Just wait a second, it'll come back down. There it comes. What? You gonna run through it? Melody was having so much fun that day. She'd get a little wet in a sprinkler then have to go show her grandpa. I hope you guys love this video and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>